Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are looking at the E92 practice car. The basis, engine, tires, grip, physics, everything is just like my M4 G82. But this model is complete. The base model was from Torque Drift. So we're ripping that here today at the Norschleifen ring. And we're going to be going full send in attack here for today's episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the description box below. Let's get to it. So the reason we do have this E92 practice car is because it's easier for me to give out this car with a complete model instead of giving out my M4 when I want to practice with people that's not complete and having to keep doing revision. So that's why this E92 is the way it is, but it does handle and grip just exactly like my M4. So I can do full practice sessions. Make sure we get our lights turned on. We're going to go full rip here. Oh boy, trying to get some traction. Kind of kicking it in. So that is the reason why we have this E92 practice car. Just a little bit on the curb. Little dirt grab, nothing major. All kinds of cameras up for you today. Wheel cams, pedal cams third person as well as my driving camera it's a very snowy uh snowy norse live in today which is uh i guess good because we just got hit with snow past two days here and uh been digging ourselves out and cars out essentially i guess you would say Chucking that way hard. Here we go. Trying to manage this track in a very cold, brisk setup because the temperatures I feel like are really low because this car has a lot of slide angle to it right now. We're also not trying to kill the car. Trying to get all the way through. Oh, that was a tag in the dirt. Of course, some of these parts of this track we will not be able to drift, but... Whew. But I mean, oh, I don't think going 170 miles an hour in a car that's set up for drifting is such a great idea. Oh, we're gonna die. No! Oh, barely. I for sure thought we were going to be dead. We managed to somewhat survive that uh, very aggressive slide through the dirt. I'm trying to remember. It's been a minute. Oh yeah, clutch kicking is crazy on this. Yeah, you can see how much slide there is in this car. We got it. Gotta get these tires warmed up. They're not all ready. Down the fourth. Try to do the best we can here. Ooh, this is definitely challenging. Okay. Gain control, gain grip. This car is not the easiest car I feel like to be driving this track right now. Over a thousand horsepower, super gripped up. We're not doing too bad. I've done this, I think, once before in another car and I was all over the road. But we're trying to do the best we can today. Thought our car knee break there. We didn't need to. 
And all the GoPro footage on this car going on too. That's a 30 e brake grab. Kick it back. I'm going to kick it up this hill right here. Running right the front over that curb. Almost loose in the front end. I can't even really lay into power on this car. If you notice, it kind of just all of a sudden starts to break loose in the rear if I lay into it. In fourth gear. Just a smoke in the tires in the face. Got right, a little clutch kick there. Probably could have done this in six, but we're gonna settle the car down a little bit. Try and recompose some grip. Yeah, if you can see, this is just breaking trash out of the clutch kick and fifth. This car is insane. So much fun to drive some of these tracks in a drift car. Just to see if we can do it. Oh, we touched dirt. I felt it. The wheel got very light. Because the car wanted to rotate a little bit on me. Probably not the best track to be trying to drift everything, but it is definitely a fun challenge. A little curb run. I heard it. Oh, now the car back in before this. Fourth gear. On the outside of this one. Probably hanging one wheel off. Oh, that's going to look real good if we were floating one wheel. Like I said, just having a little fun in the E92 practice car. E92 Eurofighter. Like I said, this is a base model from Torque Drifts from Christos Belushes E92 Eurofighter. With, uh, of course, some uh, modifications on my end. Pop it off red line there. Some really nice sections in here that would make for some really nice comp cars. Comp courses, I feel. Getting close to that second bank turn. Got the same motor as my M4. Like I said, everything. Ooh, that got a little light over that hill. Everything on this car, wheel bases, grip levels, everything like that are very similar to my M4. So this is great practice for me. Like I said, it's just so I can give out a completed car and party with it instead of constantly having to update people who have my M4 because that car is getting fully updated recently and it's going to be going through some more once the rulebook and everything comes out. Seeing that means we are getting really close to the end. Oh, don't die now. We did pretty good without totally crashing so far. Oh, little grass love. On to the back stretch or the main stretch. Let's see if we can't top sing out in our gear ratio right now. 181 is our top out. So that's going to do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. If you guys like this, if you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comment section down below. And I would appreciate it if you tap that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. 
go into pits here. Once we get into the parking lot, we should be able to do some donuts to finish this off. curve was really high. Felt like that curve was way more aggressive than it should have been. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Side of Course. If you guys enjoyed this, if you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.